In this lesson, we're going to discuss the labor market and the minimum wage. And when discussing and dealing with resource markets, the vertical axis represents the wage and the horizontal axis represents the quantity of labor. The equilibrium wage is set at $8 and the equilibrium quantity of labor is 50 employees. Let's say that the government decides to enact a wage floor which will be drawn above the equilibrium wage. And let's say that this wage floor is ten dollars. What will happen to the quantity demanded and quantity supplied of labor? Well, quantity demanded of labor will go down. And let's say it goes down to 30 employees. The quantity supplied of labor will increase because it will motivate more people to enter the market with the hopes of of getting this higher wage. So let's say it goes from 50 to to 70. So what will happen in this particular market to the number of workers that would be fired? Well, the quantity demanded of workers is 30, the equilibrium quantity is 50, so the number of workers that would be fired would be 50 minus 30 equals 20. What about the number of workers that would enter into the industry? Well, the equilibrium quantity was 50, and then it increased to 70 with this minimum wage increase. So we have an increase of 20 workers that entered the industry. 70 minus 50 equals 20. And what about the number of workers unemployed? Meaning people who wanted a job but just could not find one. Well, we have 20 workers that were fired and we have 20 workers that entered the industry. The equilibrium quantity, remember, is 50. So 50 minus 30 is 20 workers that were fired. And 70 minus 50 equals 20 uh, workers that entered into the industry. And that total number of unemployed workers is 40. So as you can see, there is an inverse relationship between wage and quantity demanded of workers. And there is a direct relationship between wage and the quantity supplied of workers.